Hello, this is the genuinely approachable Sudoku for the 6th of January 2024. It is Twice by Bill Murphy. Uh, it is a uh, double arrow Sudoku, so let's look at the rules. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, so place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. Digits along lines must have the same sum as digits in the bulbs at each end. So for example, this line here, those digits must sum to those digits. Well, the sum of this digit, of those digits, have to be the same as the sum of those digits. So those two have to sum to 6, because these two sum to 6. And the same goes for every other line here. Uh, and those are all the rules. So with that, let us begin solving. So the first thing I see is the 6, 8 here, because that sums to 14. So those two cells sums to 14. Uh, I can only be done so with 5, 9, because they can no longer be 6 and 8. Uh, it also can't be 7, 7, because they're in the same box. Uh, therefore, 3 and 3 here mean those digits sum to 5. Oh, sorry, 6. I can't do math. They sum to 6, but they can't use 5. So it can't be 1, 5, and therefore has to be 2 and 4. Uh, those digits are therefore 1, 3, and 7. Well, we know that cell is not a 3 by the 3s here. Uh, those cells sum to... Well, those cells sum to 6, but they can't be 3 and 3, because 3s see those cells. It can't be 2 and 4 either, because those cells see that one, and this this one therefore can't be 2 or 4. And it therefore has to be 1, 5, I think. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, right, this 2, 4 pairs actually, uh, can actually be disambiguated by the 2 and the 4 here, which I should have seen. The 5 disambiguates this 1, 5. So that's no longer 1. Uh... Hmm. I'm actually finding it very interesting that this puzzle is not as hard as it appears to be because besides these digits, you don't have a lot. And actually from, from this uh, thing here, that's all you need to solve the puzzle. So that's interesting. Uh, maybe we look down here. Those cells sum to 12. But uh, they could be 4, 8 or 5, 7. There's no restriction on that. They can't be 3, 9, of course, but they could be either of the other two options. And those cells could be 6 and 6, I guess. They could even be 4, 8 if you flip them around. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What is there to do here? <laughs> uh, we know 2 is in one of those cells. 2 is in one of those cells. But that's not very helpful. And I guess here... Well, we know then 2 has to be one of those cells, right? Because 2 can't be in those cells by Sudoku. That cell can't be 2, because that would force this to be a 5 to make up 7. And that breaks this 5. And 2 can't be here, because those sum to 14. And if 2 was in one uh, position, the other position would have to be 12. So those cells can't be 2, meaning 2 is in one of those cells, which would always see that cell. Meaning that in this box, the only place 2 can be is here, which pushes a 2 there. Which is interesting, I guess. Uh, 2 is in one of those cells. In this box, 2 is in one of 3 positions, so that doesn't help. Okay. Uh, I want to say this 7, 7 making a 14 here does do something. But uh, what 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 would it do? We know it's either six eight or five nine, so I guess this can't be nine. That can't be five. Uh, that can't be five. This also can't be eight. So that can't be six, which gives us some options, but not really a lot. Oh, okay. Well, what does four go in this box? You see those fours here. Remove four from those cells. This can't be four either because. That would form that would force it to be a three to make seven, which would break with that three over there. So four is in one of those cells as well, forming a two four pair. Uh, and I guess oh three in this box we can say uh, has to be there then because it can't be here by this three up there. Uh, we need one. One is in one of those cells. I don't think we can tell. Oh, and actually yeah, I do know that this has to be a one six pair because of the two four pair here. This can't be. Uh, 
This can't be 2, 4, uh, two 5 or 3, 4, and therefore has to be 1, 6, which we can resolve. The 6 means that it has to be a 9, so that's a 5 to make 14. Those digits are 7 and 8 to finish the box, which we can resolve because of that 7. Uh, and wow, we are making progress. Those digits are 1, 8, or 1, 5, and 8. 5 come in those cells, so 5 goes there. That's a 1, 8 pair, which we can resolve by this 8 up top. Uh, which does not resolve this 1, 3, 7, triple. Those digits have to be 6, 8, and 9 to complete the box, uh, the row, sorry. That actually doesn't help, it could be anything. I guess those digits, well that's, oh this 8 means that's not 8. So those digits with this form a triple, which consists of 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, and 9, sorry. That cannot be 6. Uh, yeah. And then we have 1. Yeah, well, 1 in this row, we know it's not there. 1 can't be there either, because these two sum to 12. And if 1 was here, this would have to be like 11 or something, which doesn't work. So 1 goes there. This has to be 6, 8, or 9. Uh, and it can't be 8. It can't be 6 either. Well, could it be 6? It could, and in fact it is 6. Because if this was 9, this would have to be 3 to make 12, which breaks. So this has to be 6, meaning that it's also 6 to make 12. So yeah, you can actually uh, have repeated digits on these double arrows, which work essentially like normal arrows. So you can put it as a 6 there because of this 8-9 pair. Uh... And then, and then something, something. We should be able to finish up most of the stuff now. We've got like two more double arrows left to worry about. I don't really see much to do there though. Mm. Six in this box. Yeah, it has to be in that cell. So six in this box. Well, it's in one of those two cells. Which doesn't really help. Uh, right. Okay, let's look at 9 in this column. 9 can't be there or there, so 9 has to be there. This forms a triple uh, of 3, 6, and 7. Which doesn't help. Thank you. Maybe I should do that for the rest here. That is 2, 4, 5, and 9. 9 can't be there, so 9 goes there, which resolves this 5, 9 pair. Uh, 5, 9, which resolves this 7, 9 pair. So that is no longer 7. Which gives us a chocolate teapot. Cool. These digits are 2, 4, and 5, I think. Which makes sense. Those digits are 1, 2, and 4, and 7. Those can't be 1, so 1 must be up there. This can't be 2, so that is where 2 goes. That's... sorry, that's 2. That's 4. So this has to be 4 and 7, which we can resolve. I did not see that. So that is 3. Which, wait, that's not 3, that's 5. Wait, I can't read, that's 8. <laughs> that's 8, alright, cool, good enough. Um, okay, this chocolate teapot still remains, it's kind of hard to get rid of for some reason. Uh, that's 3 and 4, which is right. Those are 1, 7, and 5. 5 can't be there, so 5 must be there. This is 1 or 7. I think I can remove that now. We might need that eventually, but maybe not now, I think. Uh, Alright, let's look at look at those digits. 1, 3, 4, and 8. 1, 3, 4, 8? Yeah, 1, 3, 4, 8. Not sure if that's very helpful, but this definitely can't be 1. It can't be 3 either, because 3 will force a 9 there, so this can't be 3. That, well, that we don't know. That can't be 1 or 8. That can't be 4. This 4 8 actually does help because that forces this to also be either 4 or 8. If it's 4, then that's 8. If it's 8, then that's 4. So this is also 4 and 8, which means this is 1 or 3. Uh, which doesn't do anything. But we know it's a 4 8 pair, which might help us because those digits have to sum to 11, but they can't use 2 9, 4 7, or 3 8, so they must use 5 6, which we can resolve, which continues resolving. Which that forms a 3 7 pair there, so 6 goes there. Uh, those digits have to be 1, 3, and 7. 
but this digit can't be 1. And actually those digits and those digits feel very <laughs> similar. Okay. Now what? This one's a 3-7 pair, so the remaining digits here are 2, 4, and 8, I think. That can't be 2 or 4, so that's 8. That's 4, that's 8, that's 2. Uh, which doesn't actually resolve that. Funnily enough, that's 1, 3, and 5. This can't be 5, so 5 goes in the middle there. Those digits with this form a triple consisting of 1, 7, and 4. Uh, that can't be 7. A bunch of stuff happens from now. Uh, okay, well, I guess there's more to do. Yeah, this 8 resolves this 8, 9 pair. So those uh, 3 resolves this 3, 7 pair, which actually resolves this entire... Wait, sorry, 7. It does not resolve this entire thing, but I think it should soon. This 3 makes that a 1, 4, 7. Yeah, and that breaks the entire thing. Cool. Uh, oh, three in the corner. One and four. Well, that means that's three. That's therefore an eight. Three resolves this entire set. Finally, which gives us our final digits one and nine, as well as four and six. There you go. Solved in ten minutes and forty-eight seconds. I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.